Multiplying polynomials. So multiply the numbers together. 3 times negative 8, you get negative 24. Then with your variables, putting your variables together, x squared means x times x, b squared is b times b, and then we have another x, and then we'd have y times y times y times y. And if all those are put together, how many b's would you have? Still two of them, and it'll be b squared still. Well, you have x squared here and another x there, that'll be x cubed. Do you remember the rule that says when you multiply things with exponents with the same bases, you can add the exponents? So this is like a 1, and this is a 2, and you add those, you get 3. And we're still left with y to the 4. So we get negative 24. I'll erase some of these y's so you can see it better. Negative 24, b squared, x cubed, y to the 4. One for you to try. When multiplying three things, multiply two of them first. So multiply those two first. Keep the minus 2y there. All right. Did you get 15x cubed y squared to start? Yes. And then when you multiplied one more time, you would get negative 30x cubed y cubed. That's all you have to do. Multiplying is easy. <laughs> Try another one. <laughs> Multiplying these two first, you get negative 12a squared b, and you'd still have negative 5ab cubed. And now when you multiply those, you'll get positive 60a cubed b to the 4.